20 teenager who sexually assaulted classmates at school will not need to register as a sex offender. A judge agreed to change the offender's sentence, and one of the victim's parents is telling our John Henry he is not happy at all. These two sexual assault cases rocked Loudoun County last year and brought scrutiny as to how the county school system handles such cases. In May, authorities said a girl was sexually assaulted at Stonebridge High School. Then in October, another girl was sexually assaulted at Broad Run High School. Investigators later said a 15-year-old boy who was transferred between the two schools committed both crimes. Well, the father of that Stonebridge student, Scott Smith, says he is not pleased, especially after that judge decided to take the boy off the sex offender registry Thursday. This was a safe measure for everyone in all states, not Virginia, not Leesburg, wherever he may go. Just two weeks ago, a judge sentenced the teen to supervised probation until he turns 18. The judge also placed him on the offender registry. But last Friday, Commonwealth's attorney, Buda Bibarai's office, said the defense filed a motion to reconsider the boy's placement on the registry since the Commonwealth's attorney had not written a motion requesting it. After some back and forth Thursday in court, the judge ultimately sided with the defense, according to Bibarai's office. I honestly think his lawyers did a better job than the prosecution. Well, I wasn't really surprised because the prosecution didn't build this case solid from the beginning. Now Smith says Bibarai should either step down or be removed from her post. What happened today was horrific. Hopefully he doesn't offend again. If he does, it's not on me, it's on them. I fought to the bitter end for this. One of the boy's attorneys said he appreciated the judge's time and attention to this matter and that she followed the law. We've not gotten a response from Bibarai's office regarding Scott Smith's calls for her to leave. John Henry, WUSA 9.